What a festive way to start this video off. Um, I just crawled out of bed. The only thing I've done is wet my nasty bed head down. And Tara left for work not too long ago. And my game plan for today is to do a bit of vlogging. You know, it's been a while since I've done a vlog. And in fact, I'd like to show you guys the majority of my meals today. Um, this may even end up being a bit of like a full day of eating type video. So before I go into the kitchen and get breakfast started for myself as well as my dogs, uh, I, I'll go ahead in the bathroom and give you guys a quick physique update. 6 feet tall. Um, my scale is buried under toilet paper and a garbage can, so we're not going to know about those stats. This is me on an empty stomach. In fact, my stomach is growling really bad right now. Decent lines in the morning. <laughs> Not too bad, you guys. Um, I'm growing, definitely growing quickly. <sighs> All right, let's go to the kitchen. Here. Good girls, eat your food. The most important meal of the day. Serving it up Zachary's way. So, we've got some off-brand Cocoa Pebbles. It tastes exactly the same as normal Cocoa Pebbles. We've got one, two, three eggs. That's a chicken egg. These two are duck eggs from Mike O'Hearn. Just kidding, they're from my ducks in my backyard. Right there's their house. You know what, I'm gonna show you guys all my animals in this video somehow. Cause I have 15 damn animals and you guys haven't seen them all on film before, so. What, boo? Boo! I'm gonna eat this stuff. After that, I will go ahead and show you guys my small protein shake. I've got my pills that I take here every morning. Um, yeah, we're gonna eat real quick. All right, so I'm finishing up these eggs right here, and I just wanted to mention that I'm a very simple man. When it comes to eggs, these only have salt on them, and really, that's how ridiculous I am. I only like salt and pepper on my eggs. I'm not the type of person that likes hot sauce or ketchup or anything weird like that. I mean, I'll dip toast in them from time to time, but that's really it. So I just busted out a Gatorade. I'm gonna have this with my eggs, and I will not forget about this small shake, I promise. And it is always a tradition, of course, to give the pupper time some anabolic yolk. So onto the shake. It's gonna be kinda hard to do with one hand. A scoop, sometimes I do a scoop and a half. Today I'm only gonna do a scoop of whey. Throw that in there. And then of course my creatine. That was kinda difficult to pull off. So what is this, a tablespoon? Perfect, and then we got our pills right here. And there's breakfast. I almost forgot to put together my mass building shake for my post-workout. You could call it a meal. I don't know if you want to consider it a meal or not, and that was too much milk, but hey. Um, so we start off with that, and then we're gonna go a full scoop of serious mass. I guarantee I'm gonna spill half of this, trying to do it with one hand. Please, please, come on. Oh, I missed a little bit. So a full scoop of the serious mass, followed by a scoop to two scoops of protein. Sometimes I throw a raw egg in there. I don't think I'm gonna do that today. Now to keep this cool, I of course put 
three to five ice cubes in there. It's the winter time, so I'm not gonna put five in today. And yeah, this shake is anywhere from 800 to 1,000 calories, depending on how many scoops of protein, whether or not I put eggs in there. Today is probably closer to 800, maybe 850. I've actually never used a shaker cup before. My wife got it for me like a year ago. So she'll be proud to see that I was using it when she sees it in the sink. All right, so we are about to embark on our journey to the fitness facility. And today is Tuesday, which means it's a leg workout. And I know a lot of people when they do like full day of eating videos and stuff, they don't necessarily like show a lot of workout footage. I'm gonna get a couple of clips in because I want you guys to understand why I eat the way that I do, as well as some of the newcomers, if you guys click on this video and you don't, you know, you're not familiar with the channel, I want you guys to see what kind of an animal I can be in the gym. So check in with you guys in a bit.
Well, that was depressing. Um, I got to the gym and found out that my headphones were dead. I warmed up properly and everything, you know. I started with a leg press and I superset it with squats, only to find out that my camera is still having this autofocus issue. And I spent about 35 minutes here in the gym trying to figure it out. And it seems like I'm gonna have to go home, sit down critically on YouTube and try to find some kind of a formula for this camera issue because it's getting out of hand. Um, of course, I'm filming with my iPhone right now and it does 1080p at 60 frames, which is good enough, but I just gotta figure out this camera. Hopefully I can get some footage with it by the end of the evening. So right now I've got my post-workout shake. I will not drink this until I go pick up my post-workout meal and it's probably like five no it's probably like two minutes away so i'm gonna drive over there i'm gonna go and order it and i will show you guys what i'm having post-workout today all right so we got a kfc box here and these are basically just crispy tenders i'm pretty sure um it comes with five for my sides i got a delicious mashed potato with gravy um sometimes i'm picky and i don't feel like having the gravy but right now i just feel like having that saltiness that I can dip my tenders into, as well as a macaroni and cheese. But I am gonna eat this while I'm driving home. I know it's not that responsible. And I'll show you guys before I have this shake, I might end up having this right when I pull in the driveway at home or once I get inside, because this is gonna take a second to eat. But yeah, this is the post-workout. <laughs> All right, so that is officially smashed. I just pulled into my driveway. Um, my pop is gone. This shake, I'm gonna wait and drink once I get back inside because I need to stretch out my stomach. It's kind of full right now. All right, ladies and dudes, we got our mass gaining shake here. And my poor stomach, oh, it's so full from that KFC, but this has just gotta be done. Um, there's no other way to do it. It's a lot of chocolate. There's some ice cubes I'm gonna swallow and I hope I don't choke and die on camera. Down the hatch. I'm gonna be miserable for the next 15 to 25 minutes. But again, guys, I had to be done. <laughs> Check in when the next meal is being prepared or something interesting happens. Now, this is not gonna be like a cooking tutorial or anything like that, um, but I'll just show you guys. I've got the garlic right here. Um, I put a whole thing of green beans. I mash it up and mix it into two cups of white rice. And I also use this herb and garlic seasoning. It's pretty delicious. Now, this has four servings. Each serving has 19 grams of protein. We'll just say 20. And of course, 20 times four is 80 grams of protein, 160 grams of protein. If I were to get this all down by the end of the night tonight, um, we'll see how realistic that is. I have no idea if my wife is even planning on making dinner tonight, but I'm gonna throw both these in the pan. I'll show you guys how I do things with my phone just to make sure everything's in focus and we'll see if I fix my camera's autofocus. So 
so this is what it's looking like so far I still have my green beans in the microwave I'm gonna mash those up and then put them in here stir it up and then let it sit for a good five minutes or so and then I'll show you guys once it's done so here we are my shrimp fried rice got myself a pretty nifty sized bowl there but I definitely will finish off the rest by the end of the night and from there we'll see where the night takes us in terms of foodstuffs all right so we've got our shrimp fried rice here i'm going to sit at the table eat while i edit some clips for instagram right here um but before i dig in i just wanted to touch upon my relationship with food because it has changed so drastically over the years in fact 2019 has really been the most efficient I've ever been eating. And my metabolism, you guys, is so ridiculous. I can't say that enough. Um, you are seeing what kind of garbage I eat throughout the day, and it has not even stopped just yet. You just wait um, as the evening falls upon us, and you guys see me eat some of the junk food and fillers just to get a larger quantity of calories in by the end of the night. Um, it's just its crazy because... I'm not passionate about food, I do love food, but there's days where I just don't have an appetite and I don't look forward to eating. And you know, the basis of my diet is that I get in anywhere from four to eight meals every single day. And those meals will of course consist of your bodybuilding meals, things like fish and rice, chicken and rice, potatoes and steak. There's a lot of different stuff like that, the shrimp and rice. Um, and then everything else in between is filler. It's fluff. It's stuff like chugging milk, me, me getting a bunch of ice cream and just stuffing it down until I'm absolutely full in my stomach. And so there's days where I don't look forward to eating and there's days where um, my appetite's really high. Today it's somewhere in between. Um, I'm, I'm not even that hungry right now, but eating this shouldn't be too much of an issue. And I'll probably eat another one of these bowls here in about an hour or so. But I'm going to eat this right now, but for now, I'll check in in a bit. Alright, I have my second bowl right here. And Tara's sister brought me this slush, so I'm going to try to finish this. I don't have much of an appetite right now, and there's still another bowl's worth left. Tara didn't end up eating it. Her sister brought her food, so I'm going to try to finish the entire batch. All right, so it's been about an hour and a half, almost two hours since I finished the rest of the shrimp fried rice, and now it's time to indulge. I'm about to go in the living room and hit the joint, if you will. Um, so this is going to be pretty easy to get down, and junk food like this it's so simple for me. It's very easy for me to devour this in a single sitting. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven. It's preheating right now. Check in later. All right, so it's bedtime right now. I have my last shake right here. Not really looking forward to it, but honestly, today we didn't do too many shakes. Um, I did have some popsicles earlier, and I had a couple of like holiday cookies. I didn't film it, so I'm not going to count it, but let me get this shake down so I can miserably go lay in bed and toss and turn from a, soul, a full stomach. Man, this is ridiculous. I'm going to wrap up the video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I didn't film absolutely everything that I consumed. I know I didn't show myself eating everything. But you got to bear with me. I'm new to this. So I'm going to go lay down. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Bye.